it's not often in life that you get the opportunity to build on such an iconic location uh, in such an exclusive area. We were able to get three contiguous lots together, which allowed for a lot of space to uh, let the design have areas to breathe in between these features. So as you came to the entry gates, there was a nice sense of discovery as you move past the gates and pilasters, down the drive to the stone arbors uh, with fire bowls and these beautiful jollies that were uh, sculpted behind them. And as you move down the motor court uh, to the main courtyard area where the house was, uh, you were framed by these layers of hedges uh, with the trees and the mid-level plant material down to the lower shrubbery. And then flanked off the front door, uh, we knew we needed something with a strong anchor. And we created this 16-foot high water wall, uh, mirror-polished stainless steel torus, as they call it. It's a large disc and with the water spilling behind it and this reflective quality where like 50% of that reflection was the sky and clouds and the other was pulling in the greenery. It had a, a really interesting effect. It's almost like two different properties. When you experience it at daytime and then you experience it at night, it's, it's almost like two completely different organisms. It was important that the design was timeless. It couldn't be influenced by all the trends of today that would be very noticeable tomorrow. And it's very difficult to do that because we're always being influenced uh, with our surroundings. We had the opportunity to do whatever we wanted, but how were we to do that in a way that it didn't look like, oh, that looked very much of that era or of that year. So we worked a long time thinking through all those features and how we could integrate them in a way that they wouldn't read a certain year. They would look more like this is something that could have been done 50 or 100 years ago, or it's something that could be done 50 years from now. We decided that instead of plastering the pool, that we would do glass, blast the whole pool. It has a, a wonderful, reflective quality to it. Uh, it's almost like as you look through tide pools, uh, through the water to an abalone shell, it has this really interesting reflective uh, quality that we uh, were after. My client as a world traveler uh, has been to so many different uh, resorts and spas and he was uh, wanting to have some type of a reclining element within the spa. And we created this aeration system underneath that would release these small bubbles that would come up and almost feel like fingertips, just kind of touching the body. I feel very honored to be a part of this project and to be able to take it from just ideas into three-dimensional reality. It uh, had many challenges. We had the design review committee not on board. We had to work with them to get them to be agreeable. They uh, were uh, against the loftiness of that scale of the project. And uh, here we are at the completion, proud and uh, excited to share it with the world.